absolutely had no idea I was going to do this, so, um, it's so going to be, like, I'm winging it big time. Like, I have no idea what I got on right now, except I do know I have a mirror behind the camera. It's not a good mirror, though, so I'm not even that zoomed in. I guess I can zoom in a little bit for you all. A little bit. We'll go right here, and what I'll do then, um, since I did most of my face already, what I have on um, today is, I haven't been doing it that much for the summer, but for my lips, I'll tell you in a second what I'm doing on my lips. Hold on. I can tell you what I did on my lips and all that kind of stuff here in a second while I'm doing my eyes, but I'm kind of excited now because I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I'm exhausted. I don't feel good. Which is really weird because it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day to my daddy. I wish I was with him. This is in Arizona, and I'm not in Arizona. Right now, I'm taking, um, I am taking Urban Decay Primer, and I'm putting it on my eyes. And, um, it's just going to go over the whole entire lid. If you accidentally get it underneath your, um, your eyes, it's okay. I like... I think it's kind of pretty actually. It's a little eye brightener. It won't kill you. It won't hurt you. Give you a little bit of a nice little Kimmy Kardashian look. Aren't they everywhere now? So yes, they're even in one of my hair titles. And I don't look a thing like the Kardashians, that's for sure. I think I just got like something out of my eye. Hopefully it was like not my eyeball. I can still see, so we're good. We're good to go. Okay, so anyways, um, foundation-wise today, I am wearing um, Makeup Forever on top of number 155. On top of, I did use a Tarte Primer, um, one of their newest ones. It's flawless. It's good for um, lines and wrinkles. I have no Botox or anything right now, so I definitely need something for lines and wrinkles. But, um... I don't have much over here because I honestly just sat down because I was tired and I don't have a good view. I'm sorry. My brushes are probably a little bit dirty even, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play around. I'm going to play around with the Bond palette today. And I'm also going to play with, of course, my Urban Decay. So let's get started. Okay, I think I know what I want to do already haven't done this before so let's see Ugh, I need something that's gonna give me a clean clean uh almost like ready to like I'm looking at my brushes I don't have anything over here that's like super clean that will give me the good highlight that I want but I'm gonna have to go for it because I said I would I'm not gonna stop so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this brush it's kind of dirty and I'm gonna take sassy from the bomb palette and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelids I'm going to put it everywhere. Um, and I kind of feel bad that I'm not, like, doing this in a good angle for you all. But we'll see how it all goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm kind of just using the mirror off of the palette. It's kind of nice that this palette has this kind of mirror. I like it. I don't see that many people are using the bomb palettes that much. I bought mine at Nordstrom's with my own money. So don't think I'm, like, using this as a rep thing. No, whatsoever. Oh, it's the nude tude. I think it's kind of like on the edge of Urban Decay's um, Naked Palette. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my favorite brush that I love from MAC for my eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and use um, Woodstock all over the lid. Um, you can go up into the crease if you want to. It's not going to hurt you. Listen, I promise. It won't bite. Woodstock is a pretty bright pink. Um, if you are into color, you're going to like this little eye that I'm going to do. If you're not into color, you're going to like this little eye that I'm going to do. So I think it's good for both of you all. It's kind of a little, I'm, I'm hoping it turns out to be like a little pin up -y. But not, not too crazy. But not too not crazy because I'm always crazy. Crazy Lady Sherry, right? Okay. That's what happens when I start talking when I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to show you a trick, boys and girls. It's my favorite trick in the book. And the one thing I like about having both of these palettes next to me is I can use the other one to do it. Since I have Woodstock all over my lid, and um, you could see I went ahead. The, 
the shadow I put on earlier, Sassy, the reason why I put it all over my lid is I did not want um, wood stock to go in crazily dark. If I would have just put Sassy on um, the highlight area, wood stock would be a lot more concentrated. And I didn't want that, even though when I mix it with this next color, it's going to be absolutely gorge. And that's the whole idea for it to be gorge, right? Like you all. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this brush is, it's my secret. This is how I do my eyes. This is honestly, everybody right now, you are all going to become right now a professional makeup artist. And you're going to use the Sherry Morgan 100 trick, a.k.a. bombshells. That's you. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to either, I, I love these two colors. I love them, I love the color Sexy and Silly. Sexy is a matte maroon, and um, Silly is a kind of dark maroony brown with like some gold sparkles. And so now I'm like, which one do I use? Guess what, I'm going to use both. Okay, there we go. What I'm going to do with this brush, this is what, my, this is my trademark trick. Okay, take this brush, watch what I'm going to do. Ooh, bing! I'm gonna turn it upside down, and I'm gonna use the other side. And what I'm gonna do with the other side is I'm gonna take silly, which is the darker of the two on the bottom. It's down here, and um, you can see that's pretty dark. But I'm gonna tap it first. And what I'm gonna do? Watch. Okay, dark on this side, kind of nothing but pink stain on this side. Watch. Okay, this is tricky. No, it's not, and I'm messing with you all, but you guys are going to be really excited that I did this because this is exactly the easiest way to do a smoky eye. Okay, you ready? All right, watch. All right, I'm going to take it right here. I could probably even do it without a mirror and just start. The dark is pushed upwards. The light is not. I'm doing it literally without a mirror. Um, very dark color, but you will see very instantaneously wow I'm such a little rhymer I'm going to take my little hand and all I'm doing is a little flick look at what happened oh my goodness we got a little flicky eye there we got a smoky eye going on how did that happen it's magic you know Ooh. please stop singing Sherry that's what they're saying okay Silly. Need you on the other eye, girl. Okay. There we go. You ready? Same thing. Bam, 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 bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's not nice. You know what's amazingly beautiful about this color? When you guys see this together, you guys are going to like die. It's so hot. Okay. No, well, don't die. You know what I mean. Okay. Flicked over. Look at what I did. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of myself. Ta-da! It worked out. It's even. Holy guacamole, look at my eyes. Oh, I'm bringing you on in. I'm going to show you something real quick. Let's come on in. There's a reason why I bought this camera with the... See what I did so far? See? 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 Watch. Let's back up. Bing! Okay. I'm going to take sexy, and what I'm going to do with sexy is I'm going to put it in between these two colors, and I'm going to blend this all together, and we're going to have a smoky eye. Oh, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't like bring that many brushes over here. I told you, like, I'm using the same brushes I used earlier. Um, sexy, remember, sexy is like the lighter of the two. It's like a maroony color. It's not that light, but... It's going to be pretty when we mix it together up here. We're going to blend, 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 and blend. We're blending till the end. That's not good. Uh-oh, I hear crying at my house. I might have to stop my video for a second. I usually don't do that. It depends on how bad the cry is. Hold on a second. Which is a bummer, so I wanted to show you how pretty this was with that line. So you all didn't think I was lying. Okay, do you see that? Do you see how amazing this is? Just now, how we made the smoky eye out of those, like, three colors real quick. 
Okay, you guys, you know what? This bites, but I'm going to seriously have to go tend to my child. But I will be right back, okay? I promise. I promise I will. I had no idea he was going to fall on her his back. I will not do anything to this eye at all until I get back, I promise. Actually, I think he might be okay. Hold on. What I'm going to do now, though, I'm going to add just a little bit of this pink color that's right here. And I'm going to put it, like, right here. It's called Stubborn. Actually, you know what I'll do? Instead, because I want to just keep it close on the colors here. I'm going to move it on up here and just add a little bit to this up here. And then come on down just a little bit because we are, like, that eye is done. The eye's done except for what I'm going to put down here because remember we're, we're doing a little pin be smoky. It'll look really pretty when you put the, um, when we do our liner and all that kind of stuff. So, hold on. Ooh, Joe horses. Okay, no, he's okay. I think he's okay. All right, let's do that. Do you all want to see that again? Okay, good. Because we're going to take sexy again and we're going to do the same thing to this side. Same area in between those two, and you're just blend, 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 blend like there is no end. It's funny because, like, usually the second eye, it either works out perfect, and the other eye didn't, or something. They're usually never the same. They usually ended up like sisters, not twins, but you know what? Look at what happened. This one turned out better. And what I really like about this, what I love about the woodstock against these two colors is you'll see like the maroon and the dark, dark brown. Even, I didn't use a black at all and I'm not going to. I will use a black liner, but I don't, I'm not going to, um, see, and what's funny about this eye over here is I didn't need to add any more pink above like I did in the other one. It just so happened that way, just because of the way that my brushes were or whatever. I mean, I could look in this mirror. I can see that exactly what I want it to look like. And even if you're like, gosh, you're cra you look crazy right now. It really, you don't. Trust me. I'm just trying to reach a brush over here. What I'm going to do real quick, I'm like really, really winging it over here. I'm going to take this silly, um, the darker one, and kind of just move a little bit. I'm going to connect a little bit down here. But I'm going to do something fun with this eye. I just like to do this. I'm notorious for doing this. No wonder I have something in my eye. I knew I had something. I remember I was like just talking about that. I'll do a little bit of dark underneath here but what I'm very notorious for is adding dark. I'm going to add like a blue color of liner because I'm done with my shadows. So I'm kind of done. I don't need them anymore. Got my NARS liner here which kind of broke on me. It's like kind of crazy now. I'm going to do it underneath my eyes with the NARS liner. And it is a teal blue, which is going to look gorge with this, um, with this pink and maroon kind of deal that we got going on here. It's going to look so pretty. You're going to see here and you're like, oh my gosh, it's going to look so cool. Okay, and I, I'm going to just go like that and blend it with my finger. I think it's fine. And this is like what I was telling you. If you like color, good. If you don't like color, it's okay too. Because watch what happens when we add the black liner. It's going to look so hot. You know, we're already at 13 minutes, people. But you know what? It's okay. I don't have to put falsies on. I was going to put falsies on. Or I was going to... What I wanted to do is show you a new product that I got that's really cool. But we really don't need falsies today. Because it's still a really pretty look. You can see already. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a black liner. Um, this is Buxom. I don't think it's black though. I think it might be blue. It's okay. I'm going to do it inside. And you can either use your finger and pull it down, but since I'm doing it on camera, I'm just kind of just pushing it down with the pencil and it's not, it's not hurting me. It's fine. If I wasn't holding this mirror though, I would totally like I would like put it down, you know, and like pull it down like I'm going to on this one, just like this. It's just easier and faster, and I want to kind of go faster so I'm not taking forever of your time. I'm going underneath on the top, 
You know, now this is completely optional. You don't have to do any of this if you don't want to. I just like to. It's kind of how I do my little smoky eyes and stuff all the time. And this isn't like exactly like a smoky eye. I mean, it kind of is, it kind of isn't. It's up to you. I mean, it's, it's all up to you. Everything's up to you all. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this liner on top. And I'm going to do a liquid liner and some mascara and I'm all done. You're going to see how easy that was in the crease and all that with our little eye. And the best part about it, I know my little tutorials can go kind of long, but you know what? Again, I didn't expect to sit down here today and do a tutorial whatsoever. In fact, I was just on the phone with my friend. Now it's ringing again. Hopefully it's my son, man. He's been on a houseboat all weekend. I miss him. How's that, guys? Do we like? Are we good so far? What do y'all think? Almost done. Let's do some black liner and some mascara and get out of here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The bomb palette just fell on the floor. It's gone. Bye, bomb palette. Okay. Didn't want to stay alone, did it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do some liquid liner real quick. I'm going to look in the mirror over here. So hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is a very easy liquid liner, by the way. I say that before I do the other eye. I should I should say that before I do the other eye. There we go. Let's put some line on. We just put some line on. Ooh, we put some on. Sorry. Crazy. Crazy cherry. Dry. I was going to put falsies on, but we're not. We're just going to hurry up and do like a fast mascara and get out of here. Which mascara should I do? Which one? Which, which primer? Which primer? Which primer? Well, we're kind of going fast, so we'll go ahead and do Dior and get out of here. We'll do these ones. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Boing, 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 boing. One, two, three, four, five. Once again, bump. One, two, three, four, five. Other eye. One, two, three, four, five. Bump. One, two, three, four, five. Bump up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're almost done. Yeah, yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and today, and I'm just going to use my um, Dior primer just because I have it right here and we're in a hurry. So um, I want to get you all out of here. So hopefully you'll watch me do another tutorial again. Since I take forever since I started talking to you all, I love you all so much. I just totally got myself in the eye. I just want you all to see the eyeshadow techniques more than anything because I think that you guys can probably figure out how to put the mascara on. Which I'll do a really quick, I'll do one for you all one day, like a really good one. I'm doing the extra on top. I like this one because it gives some good volume and it gives separation and curl. I'm going to finish it off by using um, Dior um, 1, Dior Show 1 on top of this one. And... Um, all these three together have really good like lash um, they have like good lash conditioners I personally when I'm doing false eyelashes um, I don't really use these kind of products as much I like to use more of a drier um, mascara as I want my glue to stay put all night I know that a lot of people wouldn't really think about that kind of stuff. I think about everything. I literally think about your face as kind of a 
it, it's a work of art and you want your work of art to have just be perfect all night, right? You work so hard and you pay a lot of money for all your products and then all the time and everything to put into it. We fall for all the sales pitches and then, yeah, I got some on me. It's white. I really love, I love, love, love so many different ones. But for what we just did right now, this works perfectly. I mean, they all meant to be together. They're all best friends. So I went ahead and I put the X to say on top, or on top of the Dior um, primer, and I just bumped myself in the eye or the nose with my mascara. Since I did that, um, I'm not gonna rub on it right now. I'm gonna wait, and then since it's wax based, I'll wipe it off after I'm all done because if not you're gonna give yourself a mess you don't want a mess just be able to wipe it off be much easier it really is so much easier so I'm almost done and we're out of here so bombshells these are my brown eyes my real brown eyes you saw me sit down with them earlier no falsy lashes today Um, if you guys want me to, let me know, and I will do just, like, sometimes I would rather do, I like to do these looks like this for you all, because I feel that you guys can really see more of what I'm, I'm doing, more than, than just one eye. I like to do that, too, because, I mean, it's fast. Obviously, it's a lot fast. Okay, I'm going to get that off my nose now. Please go off, like I said, instead of rubbing. That's lovely. See, that'll be a nice little blooper. No, I'm going to get that off right now. So, anyways, my little beauty queens, I love you all so much. And not this spot on my nose, but it's off now, so we're okay. So, let's go out and let's see what we came up with just now. We are awesome, aren't we? And kind of fluff up the hair a little bit. Is it kind of like sex kitten from where I sat down? So you saw, you saw my before and after, so what do you all think? Happy Father's Day! Now, anyways, gorgeous says I love you all, and I thank you all for watching me and spending time to learn how to do kind of like one of my fun smoky eye techniques or any kind of like eyeshadow techniques that works really good with the shadows. I'll let you all in one more time to see. I don't do them that often on camera. But here's what we came up with. But I did not... Are you going to focus? Focus for my babies. There we go. It's Wilkinson. Hello. Okay, everybody. I love you all so much. You guys are amazing. And, um, again, it all started with just makeup. And now it's amazing. You all are awesome. Thank you for being in my life. Happy Father's Day and happy just every day to you all. And I love you all. And I hope you all have a bombshell day. See you later, Gators. Bye.